Dear guests, now it's time for the award ceremony. Marif students and teachers will be awarded. Turkish Marif Foundation organizes a photography contest every year and this year was the third edition. In the International Marif Photography Contest, students from all around the world are participating. They're not professionals, they don't have any professional equipment, but they have big hearts. It's really great to see the world through their eyes. And with their photographs, we can see their world. And this year's theme was happiness. Students shared their precious moments filled with happiness, joy, smile and laughter and more. With these photographs, they also shared the meaning of happiness. First of all, let's watch the video of the photography contest. Now we will give you awards for winning photos. From 800 photographs, three students are awarded. As we said, they are not professional, but our jury is. The jury selected winners out of 800 photos. Let's start with third place. The third place goes to Mustafa Recebi from Afghanistan. I would like to invite President of Mari Foundation, Professor Dr. Biral Akgün, to present the gift to Mustafa. Professor Akin, please don't leave this stage. And Mustafa, please don't leave this stage. Be a bit talk to you. Okay. Mustafa, congratulations. I want to be talk to you about the pictures that you already shoot and how do you feel right now? Now, uh, I have roller coaster emotions and I'm very happy that. I bring up proud of, I'm proud of my family, a city, or a country, I can say. So 
So what was the story behind? The story was uh, in Afghanistan that we you know there's a lot of war and mm -hmm. every day there's war yes, and uh, all of the country thinks that there's war and that thing that uh, the wall that's the background and uh, I choose that for that's the background uh, no needed the war is no needed in Afghanistan mm -hmm. and that book that they are laughing and uh, studying with each other and he's telling a story for him and the weekend that uh, when with lessons we can bring happiness in our country not with war for this that's the background that's great to hear that well you already summarized what happiness means to you but people just specified what happiness exactly for you i think happiness is a mind state like I will talk with you and I will tell something bad. Then you will be angry. That's a mindset and emotions. Uh, I think that happiness is this. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Fani. Congratulations once again. You can, you can stay here. And I will announce the second place. This second place goes to Rania Hassan from Burundi. And Professor Akkun will present the, uh, the award to Rania. It's something in the middle of it. Please don't leave the stage and I'm going to talk to you a bit. How do you feel right now? My family and my country. Okay, please start from the beginning. I'm proud of myself and I'm so happy and I'm proud of Marif. We can see the happiness in the picture, but I'm really curious about what does happiness mean for you? For me, happiness is all about spreading love around the world. Thank you so much, Rani. Congratulations once again. And now it's time to explain the first stage. And the first place goes to Shajar Zahra from Pakistan. And President Aku, please come to the stage. Take a family picture of okay. Rania, welcome to Istanbul. And I would also like to ask you, how do you feel right now? You got the first stage. And please take the microphone. 
I feel very happy and I'm really proud of myself, of course. And all my teachers really encouraged me to do this and I'm really thankful to all of them. And what was the story behind while taking this? Uh, first thing I thought, uh, basically I thought of happiness. So happiness to me means uh, recognizing and appreciating little things in our life and enjoying them. So this is what I basically uh, showed in my picture. Thank you. Please don't leave the stage and congratulations to Shajar, Rania and Mustafa. A big round of applause for those young talents, please. And now we have a special announcement. The Theatre of Visual Arts from Afghanistan, Herat Marif School, painter and calligrapher Feride Hanifi brought her art pieces as well. She'll present one of her pieces to the President, uh, Professor Birol uh, Akgün. I kindly invite uh, Hanifi to the stage. First of all, I really congratulate all of our students, uh, not only just three of them, all who participate, who send their pictures to us, about 800 all over the world. I thank them all and congratulate them for their good effort and believe in the cause of happiness. This year that we need really, after the pandemic especially, huh? school, give them a big applause. I have just a chance to talk from Afghanistan, South Herat. I have been only once, but it is really a good city, a center of civilization in the past. So the difference, especially in her eyes, how she is really working hard and showing her talents to the writing calligraphy and we not only just two, she brought about 25, and I promised her we will publish them in a book, and she will uh, make some um, color, um, fair and presentation in different occasions in Afghanistan and Turkey as well. We support her. Now it's time for rewarding good practices in education. Innovative practices, activities and materials developed by students and teachers of Turkish Mari Foundation schools are evaluated by the Commission every year and presented to educators all around the world. Out of 67 studies presented as good practices in 2022, six of them were invited to the summit this year. To receive their award, regardless of ranking, we invite the school administrators and teachers from Democratic Republic of Congo to the stage to receive the rewards on behalf of their schools for the best example of open school days implemented in the Democratic Republic of Congo International Marif Schools. <laughs> Professor Akgün will present their awards.
Thank you. I would like to talk to you a bit. How do you feel right now? I don't speak English. Um, Thank you. And please don't leave the stage. Uh, let's move on to the next one. We invite the school administrators and teachers from Ethiopia to the stage to receive the awards on behalf of the schools for the best example of comparing Ethiopian culture and Turkish culture with innovative presentation techniques applied at Ethiopia International Marif Schools PMS campus. And to present the gifts, I kindly invite the member of the Board of Trustees, Duba Ushuk Erjan. Could you please come in the middle of the stage? Uh, get your feeling. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to say thank you. Uh, at the bottom of uh, our heart, International Mari Foundation, uh, because of in Ethiopia doing a lot of uh, in quality of education. Thank you again. Tasha Kula. Could you please share your feeling? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very pleased to be among different uh, educators, including ministers, professors, uh, teachers from different Marif schools. I'm very pleased to be among you and to have your experiences. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining here. And could you please uh, don't, don't leave the stage and a bit more there. And I will continue with the other now we are going to Balkans. We invite the school administrators and teachers from Albania to the stage to receive their awards on behalf of their schools for the best example of Marif City applied at International Marif Schools of Albania, Albasan Campus. <laughs> to present the gifts, I kindly invite Professor Dr. Jihad Demirli to the stage. Congratulations, and I also want to talk to you a bit. How do you feel right now? Merhabalar, benim adım Irena. Biz Arnavutluk'tan Marif Okulları Elbasan Kampüsü'nün ben müdür yardımcısı ve aynı zamanda psikolojik danışmanı oluyorum. Çok zevk aldık. Bu bizim için çok faydalı ve mühteşem bir organizasyondur. Buraya bizleri getiren Marif Şehri Projesi 
Ee, okul müdürümüze çok teşekkür etmek istiyoruz. Emrah Katrancı e, ve e, sevgili ve çok çalışkan öğrencilerimize, e, değerli e, öğretmen arkadaşlarımıza da çok teşekkür ederiz. E, İstanbul eğitimi, eğitimi zirvesinde olmaktan e, gerçekten çok onur duyuyoruz. Uh, bu fırsat verdiği için uh, Türkiye Mali Vakfı'na çok minnettarız. Uh, hepinize çok teşekkürler. I feel so privileged to be here today and I would like to thank the great family of Mari Foundation for this incredible and valuable opportunity. I'd also like to thank uh, Mr. Emrah Katrancı for sharing his ideas and also supporting and helping us during the journey. Last but not least, I want to thank my students who were willing into creating and designing the Marif town. It was a small thing, but I promise you, it was uh, with, done with care and a lot of devotion. Thank you. Thank you. And now I'll invite school administrators and teachers from Pakistan to the stage to receive their awards on behalf of their schools for the best example of parent schools applied at Pak Turk International Schools and Colleges. To present their gifts, I kindly invite Professor Dr. Ahmed Emre Bilgili to the stage. Thank you. I would like to thank all of our teachers, but I would like to take their feelings. How do you feel right now? Start with you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. And first of all, I would like to extend my heartiest thanks to uh, Marif for inviting us for this uh, opportunity, and then definitely appreciating our efforts, what we are doing. In Pakistan, we have the largest number of students of Marif, almost 14,000 students. So with 14,000 students, we have big challenges as well. So, but we are trying our level best. The whole team is here uh, from schools, the teachers, the school principals, and the head office. So we all are working together as a team, and we are trying our level best to uh, practice good practices actually I'm taking it as a phrase and uh, so uh, we are trying our level best together and we want to actually uh, create new things and our students teachers administrator they all are very passionate for the education and uh, this is a huge contribution by Marif to Pakistan where almost 10 million st students are not able to go to schools. They cannot access school. Over there, the 14,000 students are getting the best education from big cities to interior areas of and far areas of Pakistan. Thank you so much, Malif. I would like to thank Mr. Berul, M. Tovoaishk, and all of the members of the jury that we are the privilege that we are being over here. And I would just like to recall and thank our uh, directors, uh, country director and education coordinator, 
बुरा हो जाए मैं हारून हो जाए दे आर बिलीविंग इन एस एंड फॉर बिलीविंग इन एस थैंक यू वेरी मच last two schools now we're going to the other side of the ocean we invite the school administrators and teachers from venezuela to the stage to receive their awards on behalf of their schools for the best example of science activities for productive students applied at venezuela international marif schools <laughs> to present their gifts i kindly invite the member of executive board professor dr mehmet oskan to the stage Teachers, please don't leave this stage, and I would, I would like to talk to you a bit. How do you feel right now? I'll give it to our principal. <laughs> Hola. Talk to you guys in Spanish, and I'll be uh, translating to English. Estamos felices de estar aquí en nombre de la familia Marif Venezuela. Vamos a llevarle este premio con muchísimo cariño. Muchísimas gracias. Somos equipo. We are uh, taking home uh, these wonderful awards uh, on behalf of the Marie Family Foundation. Dr. Akun, it's indeed a privilege uh, for us to be here and be a, a, a member, and more than a member, a family of the Marie Foundation under the leadership of uh, Professor Kamar Chaplin. He sends his regards to you all and to the members of the foundation. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for being with us today. And now it's time for the last school, the United School Administrators and Teachers from Afghanistan to the stage to receive their awards on behalf of their schools for the best example of effective communication in social life applied at Afghan Turk Marif International Schools. <laughs> to present their gifts, I kindly invite Bülent Fifty and Mustafa Çaltılı to the stage. Our esteemed guests from Afghanistan, please don't leave this stage. I would like to talk to you a bit. And let's start with you. How do you feel to be here today? Uh, first of all, assalamu alaikum. Uh, it's a proud moment for me, for us, uh, to be part of this Istanbul Education Summit. And uh, uh, Mari Foundation has never left us alone, even uh, during the political crisis and discomfort. So uh, first of all, before thanking uh, generally, I want to thank uh, our uh, President, Mr. Birol Akun, and uh, all the uh, member of uh, board and our Salih Sagri Hojam for not living alone during this, uh, this uh, discomfort and unrest, political unrest that we have uh, faced 
last year. So we want a big round of applause for uh, all of the Turkish Mario Foundation uh, members. Thank you. And uh, as an opportunity is given for me uh, to talk, so uh, I want to raise my voice here that uh, we uh, need a universal curriculum uh, within the future in which there should be only uh, peace and affection and uh, there, should be, uh, there should not be a place for hatred uh, in our new curriculum. Thank you. I would like to thank all of our esteemed teachers and young talents. And please don't leave the stage. We'll take a family picture all together. <laughs> <laughs>